What's up boys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, we're going to continue right where we left off. I'm, I'm... Oh, great, great, great. That's just fucking... There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. Can I drive that? I cannot drive that. Okay. Oh, so there's chunks of darkness again. Okay. Get the hell out of here, boys. Fuck this place. Oh, damn it. Got it. Okay. Come on. Oh, shit. Reload, reload, reload. Okay, 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 okay. Whew. Right. Okay. Get the hell out of here. Fuck this place. I hate being in the woods. Uh, we can bury in the cell. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. What the fuck? What? What the hell is he talking about? Conspiracy to murder a federal agent? Dude. Screw these stupid birds. Okay. I don't like the sound of the breathing. Oh, come on. How the hell did that flashbang not take out those guys? I mean, come on. Alright, let's grab the stomachs real quick because I noticed it earlier. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. I don't want to get hurt. Okay. I'm already freaking hurt enough as it is. The last thing I want. plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, oh. I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Okay. Oh, 
fucking great. There's lights everywhere. Jeez. Can't see because of the light. Okay. Alright, cool. I just got like three achievements. One of them I noticed was six gun scribe, which if I remember correctly, that is for oh jeez. Uh revolver kills. Took two of those freaking shots. Oh, wait, wait, what's that? Hang on. I wasn't gonna come over here. But it looks like there's actually Chinese stuff. Oh, fuck. Oh, that scared the hell out of me. That fucking flashbang saved my ass. Dude. Just with these guys, man. They're fucking everywhere. Fuck, I'm out of stamina. Turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Shit. Okay. Fuck that. Get the hell out of here. Fuck this place. Great. The dark presence was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? It's, it's going after something. It was helping me at one point. I wonder if it's going after the kidnapper. No, it'd make more sense if it's going after Fuck this place, man. Did, wait, I just realized, it, did he say that the graveyard shift, the graveyard shift can cause cancer? I heard that right, right? Oh, hey. Thanks for the light. I needed that. How did you know? The fuck was that? Place was dead, a ghost town. Had been for the decades, fuck? maybe a century. The fuck? Fuck you. And your darkness. This game is starting to really get to me. Oh fuck it. Okay, okay, okay. Manuscript. Waking Casey. Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself. Angry at Alice. Angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. Why was he? Why would he? Be, I guess he's just angry at the world. 
Let's see, why would he be angry at them? But Are you kidding me? I'll see you guys back up top. Okay, this time we're not going to fall. Okay. The hell is that noise? Cross that goes down. Fuck these poltergeist fucking objects. Oh, come on. Oh my god, that one hurts so much. I actually finally have to use a battery. Still managed to hit me. Fuck, dude. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Fuck this place, man. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, come on! Fuck that thing. Fuck you. I'm about to fuck with your shit. Fuck off. Scared the living hell out of me. Okay. A key? What the hell does a key go to? Oh wait, is there a door or something? Oh, okay. Ah, okay. I somehow magically did not notice the door. We're gonna well, thank you. I really, really needed that. Ow! Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake. Using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. Wait a minute, so you're telling me that because of Thomas Zane's poetry, you, Alan Wake, you, you created all of these things using that as inspiration? Are you fucking insane? All right, boys, I mean, that's where I'm going to go ahead and end it for tonight. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.